Hey, this is Matt from Investicoin. Today is Monday, February 3rd, 2020. And today is the first trading day of the month. And it's currently a little after two o'clock. And I want to look at a quick bit of information about what happens going into the close on the first trading day of the month. So let me set this up for us real quick here. I'm going to be looking at the ES. The setup's going to be last hour. So the entry time for the last hour for the ES is at 3.15 p.m. Eastern time. And the exit is at the close of regular trading hours, which is uh, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. So just looking at the last 60 minutes, the test I want to look at, we'll be looking at the first trading day of the month. And we're going to look at another variation of this. So let's start with just going long on the first trading day of the month for the last 60 minutes of regular trading hours. Uh, here are the results. Uh, looks like we got about 200 samples going back to 2003. Uh, win rate about 59% average win, just a touch better than the average loss. The equity curve has been very strong over the past uh, five, six years. In fact, if you look at the stats down below, you can see about 71% of these over the last five years have worked out um, on the bullish side there. So that is a pretty good stat recently, but I want to share something else with you guys really quickly here. And I just want to show you um, the difference between if we're trading in the top half of the range or the bottom half of the range going into the last hour. I'm not sure where we're going to be. I can show you that on a chart here real quick, but there is quite a bit of a difference. So I'm going to start with closing in the bottom half of the intraday range going into the last hour and hit view results. And these are the results for going long if we're trading in the bottom half of the regular trading hours range at 3.15 p.m. Eastern time and then exiting at the close. Uh, you can see the past five years or so has been fairly, fairly bullish, uh, but the overall equity curve is kind of a mess. Uh, win rate still hanging around 60%, uh, but the average loss is quite a bit larger than the average win if we're trading below uh, the midpoint going into the last hour. And if you compare that, to if we're trading above the midpoint, so I'm just going to hit equals here next to close and top half of the intraday range, going into the entry at 3.15 p.m. Eastern time and view results. You can see this one has been much steadier. Uh, the average win is quite a bit larger than the average loss and the win rate still hanging around that 58 mark. But overall, this one looks much more attractive. Um, currently, the midpoint of the regular trading hour session is at 32.52.50. We are trading just a couple points below that at the time of this recording here. Let me show you a chart real quick. So this is uh, where we're at right now. And we'll be uh, going into 3.15 p.m. Eastern time in about an hour. So I don't know if we're going to be above this blue line or not, but this blue line here at 32.52.50 is the midpoint of the regular trading hour session. So uh, the prettier equity curve and the uh, more consistent stats there is if we're trading above that line going into 3.15 p.m. Eastern, the messier curve was if we're trading in the bottom half of the range. So thought I'd share that with you. Good luck the rest of the day, and we will see you again sometime soon.